This live burial technique is amazing. Laser defense has been placed on people. High-end atmospheric buried alive straitjacket fresh out of the oven. As soon as the lights are turned off, the person can sleep forever. She did not know how long she slept. The woman suddenly came back to her senses and woke up. She gasped in despair. Buried alive clothes look thin, but it is airtight. Watching the woman suffocate to death inside. Last minute. Woman by mouth. The burial suit was broken. She reached out her hand, pulling out the large and small tubes, tearing the straight jacket. She realizes she's locked in a small space. The woman cries out for help. No one answers. She screams at the equipment next to her. The place looks like a medical bay. The little assistant overhead activated. It says there's 35% oxygen left in the cabin. The woman doesn't know where she is. She doesn't remember anything. She remembers she's in a hospital. All the woman could do was call for help. But she's been screaming for days. There was no movement outside. The young assistant told the woman to stop screaming. 35% of the oxygen is down to 34%. She can't seem to shout. She's trying to figure out what to do. The woman asked the assistant to open the hatch. The assistant asks her for the admin code. The woman is trying to figure out what to do again. The woman wants to call the police again, but the police don't even know where she is. She wants to know if she's buried. The woman looks at the serial number of the device above her head. She gave the number to the police. Police say the medical bay was abandoned three years ago. Looking at the tube, she thought again. Have the assistant analyze her genes? And it worked. The assistant found out the woman was an MD. She wasn't sick at all. She's not sick. She's in there. Isn't this kidnapping? The police dropped the phone. Can't even connect. The woman broke down. Her excitement accelerated the oxygen consumption in the cabin. Oxygen content dropped to 29%. The junior assistant gave an injection to try to calm her down. Something reached out from the medical bay. It tried to give the woman a sedative. There wasn't much oxygen left in the cabin. If you fall asleep with another needle, will you die? Using the needle on her acupuncture point, the woman flashes, the needle misses, then she taps the machine with her elbow. The machine thinks the woman is too good. The machine retreats. The woman is tossing and turning. The oxygen level drops another 7 points. The little assistant reminds her, in another 40 minutes, the oxygen will run out. The woman tells her to calm herself. She looked for someone she might know. She looked for her husband. The woman hurriedly asked the assistant to call her husband, but the old woman's voice came on the other end of the line. The woman hung up the phone without waiting for her to speak. The person who answered the phone was her mother-in-law. The woman hurriedly called back, but there was no answer. Looks like she has to think of something else. She is trying to think of something. The machine just took out a new needle. This woman has experience. Grabbed the machine and pulled the needle off. She holds the needle and digs out the softest part of the cabin. It looks like it's about to leak. The medical bay starts to protect itself. As a result, the woman is electrocuted. It seems that just picking at the wall is not enough. 20% oxygen left in the cabin. She doesn't want to do anything else. The woman was about to suffocate. The police station finally called. According to the medical bay serial number, they could immediately get the admin code to save the woman. The woman said she had a husband. Let the police check him out. But the police say she was never married. The woman wants to take a picture of the police. Just now it was a sweet double photo of her and her husband. Why are you single now? That's so weird. The police said she was dizzy from lack of oxygen. The ring mark on her ring finger proves the police tried to trick her. After a while there was another call. Hearing the movement. It was the same aunt from earlier. Auntie told her to go into deep sleep quickly in order to be saved. But isn't the oxygen level in this pod a death wish? Gaining the woman's trust, Auntie told her the admin code. She also said not to open the door. She will die. But the woman will open the door after getting the password. Just untie the tape. Something magical happened. The woman in the medical bay floated away. The catheter needle next to her also floated away. Where is this? The intelligent assistant says the woman is now in outer space. 65,000 kilometers from Earth. The woman was confused when she heard. No wonder Auntie won't let her open the door. Talking to the ant on the other end of the phone. It turns out that there is an outbreak of a deadly virus on Earth. The human race will soon be extinct. A total of 10,000 people from each country were selected to be the spark of humanity, to be sent to a planet 100,000 light years away. A woman is one of them. The propellers can pull these 10,000 people. Over 400 planets crashed without flying too far. The woman who was still sleeping woke up like this. 10% less oxygen in the cabin. It's impossible to reach the destination. The woman has to open the door a hundred times, right? The woman suddenly remembers. Her husband might be in this group. 
She quickly flips through the information here. Her husband is really in the cabin. She thought her husband could give her a ride. But how did the scar on her husband's forehead disappear? The woman suddenly thought of something. She started looking for information about herself. Checking the video. She turned into a gray-haired old lady. Wasn't the caller an aunt? If the caller is a woman, then who is she? To keep the good ones. Transferring genetic memories to a clone. She is a fake that carries the memories of the original. The woman finds it unbelievable. The woman is still here screaming. There is 3% oxygen left in the cabin. The little assistant decides the woman won't live long. It's going to give her a needle and send her away. Seeing the blue liquid about to be injected into the woman's body. She is the spark. The seed for the continuation of human civilization. Strong desire to live makes the woman one second before the injection. Pulled the needle out of her toe. The needle was removed. But it wouldn't be long before she too would suffocate in the cabin and die. Suddenly, the woman remembered what her aunt had said about falling asleep. Maybe this will reduce oxygen consumption? Women suffer pain. Reinsert the removed needle according to the eye of the needle, throwing it all away. The woman thought she could live like this, but the oxygen level in the cabin is only 1%. If it's not enough for 2%, she can't get up when she sleeps. It occurred to the woman that the other compartments could have oxygen? Checked by the little helper. Sure enough there are other cabins. If you want to put oxygen into the woman's cabin, she needs to go into a deep sleep. The woman wants to sleep. The assistant asks the woman if she can take a sedative this time. The woman readily agrees. The woman is wrapped back into her straitjacket. The end of the story. The woman and her husband make it to the new planet. They have to complete the mission of human cloning. The seeds of human civilization will continue to multiply.